Hey guys, Cliff Olson, Doctor of Audiology and founder of Applied Hearing Solutions in Phoenix, Arizona. And in this video, I'm talking about a better way to get rid of background noise while wearing your hearing aids. Coming up. You know that feeling when you walk into a restaurant and you are immediately overwhelmed with how noisy it is? If you're like most people with hearing loss, you're gonna be experiencing one of two different emotions whenever you walk into this type of environment, fear, or apathy. If you're someone who experiences fear when you walk into a background noise situation like this, it's because you know the entire time that you're there, you're going to have to fake your way through conversations. If you're someone who experiences apathy when you walk into that type of a situation, it's because you just know you're not gonna hear anything, so you might as well just give up now. It's no wonder why the number one priority of pretty much everybody who wears hearing aids is being able to hear better in a background noise situation. Now, I hate to be that guy, but hearing aids have come a long way over over the past several decades with helping you hear better in these noisy situations. But it really wasn't until 1996 when we had the first fully digital hearing aids hit the market, like this Oticon DigiFocus hearing aid, which opened the door to a variety of different ways of improving your ability to hear in background noise situations. With that said, let me take a minute to explain why background noise is such a huge problem for hearing aids, what hearing aid manufacturers have traditionally done to try to address this issue, and discuss a different form of noise reduction that could change the game moving forward. But before I do, do me a huge favor and click that like button. It really helps out the channel. And if you are not yet subscribed to the channel with notifications turned on, go ahead and do that as well. It is greatly appreciated. And a huge shout out to Oticon for sponsoring today's video, but more on them in a little bit. There are a few reasons why background noise is such a huge problem for individuals with hearing loss. The first one being most hearing losses are due to age or noise exposure. When these types of hearing loss occur, they typically affect the mid and high frequency ranges of hearing while the low frequency ranges remain unaffected. The mid and high frequency ranges are where the clarity components of speech are heard while the low frequency ranges are where the volume components of speech are heard and where the majority of noise is heard. Background noise, like a bunch of people talking in a restaurant at the same time, tends to be more low frequency in nature. And since you have good low frequency hearing, you hear all the background noise really well, but you don't have any access to the mid and high frequency speech components which allow you to separate speech from the noise. The second reason why background noise is such a big problem is this concept of signal to noise ratio. Signal to noise ratio is the ratio between the speech that you want to hear versus the background noise that you do not want to hear in decibels. For instance, if someone is speaking at 75 decibels to you and the background noise is only 65 decibels, then you have a plus 10 decibel signal to noise ratio. In terms of auditory perception, a plus 10 decibel signal to noise ratio means that the speech is twice as loud as the background noise. However, if you need more separation of the speech from the background noise compared to someone with normal hearing, then you have what is called signal to noise ratio loss. We also call this SNR loss, and your SNR loss score can be determined by a speech and noise test like the Quixin. The goal of this test is to identify how much louder you need speech to be over the background noise in decibels before you can understand 50% of what someone is saying. Someone with normal signal to noise ratio would have a score between 0 and 3, which means that they need anywhere between 0, or no separation of speech from noise, and a 3 decibel separation of the speech from the noise. If you happen to have a 15 decibel signal to noise ratio loss, that means that you need speech to be 15 decibels louder than the background noise before you can understand what someone is saying. And if you are not able to achieve a signal to noise ratio improvement that allows you to overcome this signal to noise ratio loss, then you are going to continue to have hearing difficulties in background noise. I should also take this opportunity to mention that there is a new test that has been designed to identify how much contrast or separation you need of speech from the background noise. We call this the audible contrast threshold test. The point being, everybody needs a certain amount of contrast between the speech that they wanna hear and the background noise that they don't wanna hear if they wanna be able to understand speech in a background noise environment. So of course, this begs the question of what have hearing aid manufacturers traditionally done to counteract this background noise and improve your ability to hear? Well, thanks to digital hearing aid technology, they've been able to do a few things. Improve high frequency amplification, use directional micro 
microphones and incorporate digital noise reduction. Being able to selectively amplify mid and high frequency speech information without increasing amplification given to low frequency background noise has gone a long way to help people understand speech better in noise. I mean, you probably know this already. If you just increase the volume of everything when you go into a noisy situation, you might get some more of the speech, but you're also getting more of the noise, which defeats the entire purpose. Directional microphones have allowed hearing aids to selectively amplify sounds coming from different directions. In the case of being in a restaurant, the hearing aids would typically prioritize the speech coming from in front of you and reduce the amount of amplification given to sounds coming from behind you. But directional microphones can be limited because the speech and the noise have to be spatially separated, meaning if the speech and the noise are coming from the same direction in front of you, then the hearing aid directional microphones are not going to be that much of a help. And noise reduction has historically allowed hearing aids to identify modulation differences of speech and background noise, speech having more peaks and valleys, and background noise being more steady state. When hearing aids identify this, they give more amplification to the peaks and valleys, and they give less amplification to the steady state sounds. When this happens, less amplification is given to steady state noise, and amplification is preserved for the speech. The problem with digital noise reduction is that it typically just increased auditory comfort. It did not improve signal to noise ratio. However, a different approach to noise reduction has started to change the way that hearing aids can perform noise reduction and actually improve signal to noise ratio thanks to Oticon, today's video sponsor. In January of 2021, Oticon took a different approach to digital noise reduction by using their deep neural network. Think of a deep neural network as a type of artificial intelligence that uses machine learning to mimic the way the human brain learns. Essentially, by feeding Feeding different sound samples into the deep neural network, it learns the different characteristics of these sounds just like the human brain would. When completed enough times, the deep neural network has performed enough deep learning that it can recognize the characteristics of those sounds for future sound processing. When it comes to performing noise reduction, instead of having to rely on modulation differences between speech and noise, Oticon hearing aids can use their deep neural network based noise reduction. And Oticon's deep neural network has been trained with over 12 million sound scenes, which allows these hearing aids to pre-identify if a sound is speech or if a sound is noise. This type of deep neural network based noise reduction can yield up to a six decibel signal to noise ratio improvement in background noise. That's right, we're not just talking about making the noise more comfortable, we're talking about making speech more intelligible. This approach to noise reduction works so well in fact that Oticon doesn't have to automatically default to using directional microphones, which leaves your listening land landscape more open so you can actually hear and understand speech better coming from around you. This strategy also works well in background noise situations that are less complex where directional microphones might not be appropriate. Now when necessary, if the directional microphones do need to kick in, Oticon hearing aids can get you up to 11 decibels of signal to noise ratio improvement. And if this is the first time that you're hearing about signal to noise ratio improvements with hearing aids, an 11 decibel signal to noise ratio improvement is huge. The thing that's really interesting about Oticon hearing aids is they can selectively reduce background noise coming from different directions without taking away important speech information. And if that is not enough to get you to hear better in background noise, you can always use one of the great Oticon accessories like the Connect Clip or the EduMic, which will give you an additional benefit when you are in a background noise situation. At the end of the day, hearing in background noise will probably always be more difficult than you trying to hear someone who's talking directly to you in your living room that's quiet. But you should never be overcome by fear or apathy when walking into a noisy restaurant now that you know how to overcome that problem. People who have hearing loss, and perhaps hearing loss even worse than yours, have found ways to have success in background noise situations by understanding their hearing loss and implementing the proper technology to overcome the problem. So if I were you, I would make sure that I understood my type of hearing loss, understand what my signal to noise ratio loss score is, and understand what type of noise reduction your hearing aids are performing to help you hear better in background noise. I'm not joking when I say this. You need to understand what's going on with your hearing if you want to have a shot at overcoming the problem. If you found all of this information completely overwhelming, then you need to make sure that you seek out the help of a hearing care professional who can take care of it for you.